Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. A few days ago, I posted a video talking about the Panzer Claw that you can find embedded in the ceiling just near the Quick Revive machine on Der Eisendracher. At the time, I thought nothing of it. I thought, this is a pretty cool easter egg, but it doesn't seem to really do anything. You just drop the Panzer Claw down from the ceiling, shoot the Panzer Claw, it zooms through the tunnel, and that is that. Since then, multiple things have been discovered with the Claw. A, there's actually more than one claw, there are three that I know of on the map. B, the panzer claws can be used to one hit panzers, which is awesome and super duper useful in tight spots. And C, you can actually get a panzer claw helmet, just like the Margoa head on Shadows of Evil, by making use of the three panzer claws. This video is going to be a guide explaining exactly what you need to do and the best way to do it in order to get the Panzer Claw hat. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Raham Darvish, who has seemingly discovered this. He showed me some screenshots earlier today and I was like, holy moly, I had no idea this was possible. So super duper cool stuff. Congratulations, sir. Well done for finding this. So in my game, when I did this for the first time, I devised a little strategy to just make it a little easier so that I wouldn't mess up while I was trying to kill the panzers. We're ultimately going to kill three panzers in this game using the panzer claws. You can do them in any order you like, but I recommend that the first one you do is the one in the corridors by the power switch. You'll most likely have panzers around round 12, round 18, and round 24. They're the rough rounds when you should expect a panzer, or more than one panzer, to spawn. I recommend setting yourself up to kill the panzer before the round starts. That's what I'm doing in this gameplay here. I predict that I'm going to get a panzer next round, and as such, I come to the location I want to kill the panzer in and see the claw on the ceiling. I use one bullet to shoot it down and get it into position, and then go back outside onto the top of the castle here, the Bastion, to start the next round and get the panzer in a position that means I can easily lead him through the corridor into the line of sight of my panzer claw. Once the panzer spawns in at the start of the next round, I slowly make my way through the corridor to the panzer claw, make sure that the panzer is in the corridor before you shoot the claw, and then wham bam, thank you ma'am, the panzer should die as long as you hit it with the claw, and you're ready to move on to the next location in six rounds time. The next one I recommend you do is in the lower courtyard near the dragon head spawn. Again, in this gameplay, I'm going to show you me shooting it out of the ceiling, just one bullet, mind you, any more than that, and you risk accidentally setting it off before the panzer's even there, which would not be ideal by any means, and you don't want to waste your own time in doing that. So just shoot the one bullet, it'll drop down, and then go again back up to the top of the bastion, and you'll be able to wait for the panzer in the next round. Panzer should spawn in, you can walk it down the stairs, fairly straightforward. Shouldn't be too difficult. If it spawns elsewhere, then you might have to rejig your route a little bit to make sure that it gets into the line of sight of the claw, but then the exact same method can be used. Once it's in front of the claw, just shoot the claw and it should zoom right into the panzer, blow it up, and you're onto the final panzer step in six rounds time. The reason I recommend you save this third one until last is just because of the fact that the location is a little nasty in my opinion. I think the best way to do this is to leave the door from spawn to mule kick closed. That door, the 751, doesn't need to be open for this and in my opinion, if you leave it shut, it just gives you a little bit of peace of mind when you're trying to kill your last panzer. Same procedure, we're doing it for the third time now so I'm sure you're an expert. Come down the corridor, shoot the claw out of the ceiling to get things ready for the panzer, and then when the panzer spawns, you're going to want to bring it down this corridor, make sure that it's actually in the corridor itself when you shoot the claw, because the panzer needs to sort of go around the corner a little bit before it's actually in the line of sight of the claw itself, and if you do it correctly, boom, you're done. If you take a look at your head, well, okay, if you don't take a look at your head, if you take a look at your teammate's head, or if you're in solo, if you check your theater gameplay later on, you'll see the fact that you have a panzer claw resting atop your dome, and no matter what you do on the map, as far as I'm aware, it will stay there until your game ends. So, you're probably thinking right now, Mr. Ruffle Waffles, in Shadows of Evil, there were Margua heads that you could get, and they acted a little differently to this, because the method for getting them involved you shooting some Margua hearts around the map, and then you had to actually find the twinkles around the map that would give you access to the heads. So what's the deal here? How do you actually get the claw hats in the game? Well, 
You literally just shoot the last panzer with the claw. It actually will appear on your head straight away after you do that. I don't know why Treyarch decided to make this change, but it works for me. Saves me having to go find the things and pick them up. No twinkles here. Instead, just panzer claw hats for everybody. Another thing you may be wondering is Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Is there a special effect that these heads grant you, these hats rather, these claws? Is there something actually beneficial about having these panzer claws attached to your skulls, or does it really not make any difference? On Shadows of Evil, the Margua heads actually had a use. They changed your gameplay. But here, as far as I'm aware, as of recording this video, and this may well change in the next coming days and weeks, and I'll post a video update if it does, I couldn't figure out if these things actually made any difference to my interactions with the Panzers in-game. Myself and my buddy Joe Conway here were trying all sorts of stuff to do with getting shocked by the Panzers when they shoot the little concussion grenade things, getting set on fire by the Panzers, all of that we tried to test, but it seemed to us like it was the exact same as pre-claw attachment to head. I'm going to roll some gameplay in just a moment of me fighting some panzers with my buddy Joe, and if you spot any differences in the way that we interact with those panzers and the way they interact with us in the game, compared to when we don't normally have the claws on our heads, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below, because I didn't notice anything when I was playing, but I might have missed something. Like I said, I could very well be wrong about this. I think there is probably an effect, but I don't know what the effect is as of recording this video. If you know what the effect is, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to get some interaction with you guys, just like I did when Hunter found this. Also, if you find this guide useful and manage to do it in-game, definitely let me know. I want to see those messages in the comments saying, Waffles, I've done it and I've got the claw on my dome right now. That would be great. Other than that though, I think that that is pretty much everything I have to say about this particular Easter egg. It's pretty damn cool and I hope we do find an effect nice and soon. Fingers crossed we can puzzle that one out. Thank you so much for watching. The support on my Der Eisengracher Easter egg videos has been absolutely fantastic and I can only thank you guys for that, so thank you very much. Hopefully you've enjoyed, smash the like button if you have, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. a fan of flying.